Okay, well, it's been about 12 days since I built that uh, stainless steel pot scrubber uh, homemade rechargeable battery, and I wanted to give an update on it, and it did work, and it's still working. And I've been using solar energy uh, to charge it up with. It's a little 3 volt, 70 milliamp per hour solar um, panel, actually, just pointed at my window during the day. The sun doesn't actually come in here directly, but it's indirect. And it's kept this thing charged, and uh, I, w I put this on there just to show you the, the energy coming out of it. But I've been running my penny oscillator, the LED oscillator, on it um, for a light at night. It runs 24-7. And I've been doing research as to find out why this is working. And the closest thing I've come up with is what's called an iron air battery. And you can see the rust color in the solution, the uh, electrolyte solution. And this is the anode. This is the negative uh, part of the cell. And there's the cathode on that side. And the cathode is not discoloring. Uh, the solution of the cathode is not discoloring like the anode side. So um, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, magnesium sulfate in water with a... Uh, Cheap stainless steel that is mostly iron with chromium, I've decided, not nickel. And they were calling it uh, uh, a grade 400 stainless steel. I did some research on the Scotch-Brite stainless steel scrubbers. And uh, they were calling it a 400 grade uh, stainless uh, that has chromium in it, but no nickel. So that's where I'm at. This was the formula for the cell. And this was the date that it was built. And today is the 2nd of December. And there's the formula. Now I put another one together here just to show you uh, the basics of it. Um, it's the stainless steel scrubbers, two of them. They come in that package. You can use other stainless steels and anything that's stainless, that's that magnetic stainless. And here's a little magnet. And I'll show you that it is a magnetic stainless. It's not like your non-magnetic stainless. And if you put that on a countertop with salty water, it'll stain your countertop. It'll look like that. So be careful with those things. If you think they're pure stainless and they won't do damage, they will. And then I'm just using this plain old Epsom salts. There's nothing else in it. And this uh, bottled water for this demonstration. There's the voltage on my cell right now. I've got it shorted out. I'm going to use this little blocking oscillator that I call Penny. Uh, to show this uh, accepting a charge from solar energy inside the house. Now, my other videos, I was using batteries to charge this up with. And you know what? It's, it was kind of stupid, if you think about it. A battery charging a battery. You know, how stupid is that? But it was for demonstration purposes only. And like I say, I've been testing this uh, cell with free energy. You might call it a solar energy specifically ambient solar energy that's coming into the house that would come in any day. And we've had rain here, and uh, uh, it's been cloudy in the house here, and it's still been running for two weeks. So, Okay, let me show you how this works. I'm going to hook up this solar panel. It's on a 3-volt setting. I've pulled the batteries out of it, so there's no batteries in it. Yeah, it's kind of a neat little device, actually. And I've got it on 3... Uh, 3 volts, 200 milliamps, if it was in direct sunlight. So I'm thinking this is probably less than 100 milliamps here. Let me hook it up, and I'll show you the voltmeter climb as this accepts a charge from ambient light. Okay, here's the energy going into the cell. And I imagine some people are still saying this is a a capacitor. This is a saltwater capacitor. It's not. Uh, I've got some kind of a chemical reaction going on there. I believe it's like close to an iron air rechargeable battery, which they're working on quite hard because the materials are so cheap. I mean, the, the elements on this are, are very, very inexpensive and worldwide uh, acceptable. You're not locked into lithium or something like that. These are very common elements. And of course, you can see that the little uh, penny oscillator is now, well, it's hard for the camera to see this, but the, the penny oscillator is running. Now, right here I'm going to stop and say this. This will not run a regular motor, nor will it run an LED. If you try to put two of these together, it will run the LED briefly, 
but there is very, very little power on this. The milliampere hour rating on something like this is very, very low. And that's one of the problems with this iron ear battery is they don't last a long time and they're not real powerful. The upside is, is it's cheap and it's easy to make. And that's why I wanted to go back to this and I keep jumping on it is um, we need to look at this, guys. You know, this is something that somebody with a lab ought to take a look at it and find out why this is working. And maybe it's a very common reaction and maybe it's just something I stumbled on. I don't know. Okay, there's the voltage on this cell now using ambient room light with an LED oscillator running at the same time. Granted, this is running in the microamps, but it's still there. Okay, I'm going to pull the panel off now. We're going to watch the voltage drop down on this. But this is still running. Let me crank it up so you can really see it here. Now I dropped that way on down, but look at the rebound now. Now it's rebounding back up. I showed this in two videos ago, how this cell will rebound back up. Now it's reached the point where it's not going to rebound anymore. But it's still running. And that is a rechargeable, homemade cell. Not a capacitor. And I believe it's eating itself up. And this is the thing about this particular homemade batteries. I don't think this is going to last a long, long time because it's going to eat the iron out of that, that uh, stainless steel scrubber. But anyway, I just wanted to give this demonstration and, and uh, show uh, that this very simple battery that you can make in your kitchen with just a couple bucks worth of parts does in fact work. And it works off ambient room light using a small solar panel. Thanks for watching.